I'm going to show you how you can increase your odds of getting a candidate to accept your job offer. I've created two tools that you can download from a link in the description of the video. And these two tools are going to allow you to create a hidden paycheck statement that you can provide to a candidate along with their offer letter. And this statement is going to show them the true value of their total compensation beyond just their base salary. Let's take a look. And here's the hidden paycheck statement. This is a Word document template that you can download. It's completely customizable and editable. You can brand it for you, just for you. You can replace the logo just by clicking on it, delete and insert your own logo at the top. And you can also rebrand the wording. You can edit it to make it sound like it would, just like you would be writing it for your candidates or for your employees. So let's take a look at the total annual compensation summary section that goes into the statement. And this is a statement that when you provide this alongside with an offer letter, it really goes a lot further to show that candidate how much you're investing in their benefit package. So the total annual salary is their base salary is what's going to go on their job offer. And then beyond that, this statement is also going to show the total annual benefit and that is the total amount that you as the employer are paying towards all of their benefit costs, towards their value of their time off benefits, and towards their taxes and things like that. Then over here is the total benefit compensation. And what that value is, it takes their base salary plus the total annual benefit, but it subtracts the value of the time off benefits. So down here below the statement, you have these explanations so that the employee or the potential candidate can read exactly, they know exactly how you came up with these values and what the statement means. So it's very helpful. We also insert a table in here that shows the employer costs towards medical benefits and things like that. It just goes a little bit further to show the employee how much you truly invest in their benefit package. The percentage of benefits to annual salary is a great ratio to show people, and it gives them a benchmark to kind of go off of. If someone were to look at this and figure out what their current company pays towards their benefits and then compares a job offer and sees that another company invests a lot more or a higher percent towards their benefits, um, it's a great thing. It's a great selling factor that the company invests a lot in, in the employees. So there's a disclaimer on here that I recommend you keep a disclaimer like this or one very similar. And what it does, it just lets the employee know or the candidate know that this statement is simply for informational purposes, that any fact, there are a lot of factors on here that could change. It's dependent on the benefits that they elect. And so it's not a promise uh, or a contract for any offer or money or benefits, but it's a disclaimer that I recommend that you keep on there. So let's take a look at the calculator that goes into calculating this section here, the annual compensation summary section. So if we go down here, um, this is the calculator and this is a spreadsheet that you can also download. And you'll notice that there are several cells that have colors in them. And those are the colored cells that are going to need your attention or you may need to input information into those cells. Up here is a cell that you're going to input whatever the base salary is. So you'll notice that a lot of these cells have made, that have formulas in them, especially the table over here, this, this is the table of data that goes onto the hidden paycheck statement. It's that total benefit compensation number, it's the total annual benefit value, and it's the percent benefits to salary that goes on the hidden paycheck statement. So you'll notice if I change this over here to say 65,000, you'll notice that those values change dramatically. And likewise, if I go back to 35,000, those will also update with the formulas. So it's important for you to go ahead and use this calculator, plug in the base salary right up there under the base salary section, and then Make sure that you go through and understand for your state 
taxes and information that the rates that are used here, the federal rates are federal rates that you can use, but there is a state unemployment that may be different in your state. So you'll want to make sure that you put the formula in that cell that's appropriate for your state benefits. Also, you'll notice some of these cells have some optional information in them. And this is, again, something that you can customize and decide whether or not you want to use this in your statement or for your company or not. One example is training and development. So if you're able to find out how much your organization pays towards training and development, if you can break that out into an annualized number that's per employee, you could put that value in here. And again, you could check with your budgeting office to find out if you could get that value. And then same thing here, there's a, a number here that's an interesting uh, number. It's an estimate. It's it's a value that we put on having a casual dress code. So if your organization has a casual dress, you could estimate that that might save an employee $50 a month in dry cleaning costs or something like that. Now keep in mind, if you do use something like that on there, it's not a dollar amount that you're paying towards their benefits, it's a cost savings for them and a perk. So make sure that um, you would subtract that from the total benefit value if, if you use a figure like that in your uh, statement. Here you have um, holiday pay, sick pay, vacation pay, personal day. Uh, these are going to be different uh, at your company. So the values that are, or the formulas that are in these cells are here. If you hover over them, you'll see the note. And you are welcome to delete that and replace it with the information that you need for your company's paid days off, benefits, or whatever that may be. But here it shows um, a number of vacation days times the person's hourly rate, which is figured up here, and then times the hours in a work day. So that may be different at your organization. Again, you may want to come up with your own formulas to figure out the value of your paid days off. So the instructions here are just taking a look at the colored cells. It needs your input and attention. Hover over them to read the notes and customize it for you. Over here is the chart where we input. We copied and pasted this chart into the hidden paycheck statement. And this is also something that you can completely customize. You can show other benefits that you may, that the employer pays a cost towards, and then plug that in into your statement. Um, I just did a simple medical and dental chart uh, based on the tiers of coverage and how much the employer's annual benefit costs are towards those benefits that you can paste in there. Always keep in mind every year, if you do use a template like this, make sure you update it every year in case any of the tax laws change or in the tax rates change. Uh, double check and make sure that you're still giving accurate information and accurate estimates to people based on their salary. And uh, you can switch out the logo here at the top. And again, once you're all done, once you've put everything in, you've made your adjustments and edits, all you have to do then is copy and paste or um, transpose these numbers over here onto the Word template hidden paycheck statement. There's a link in the description below this video where you can download these two tools for free. Be sure to use it next time you extend an offer to a candidate. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. I want to thank all of my subscribers and thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.